Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got this question from Caden about how much am I worth as a, as a software developer? I thought this was good. He says here, he says, hey John, new topic for Simple Programmer to possibly take a look at. Maybe I should, I should probably do a blog post about this actually, but uh, that'll give a little bit more details, but I'll try to cover it here a little bit here. He says, it's hard for me as a student to judge how much my skills are worth in the industry because I haven't worked in the industry yet. I'm curious if you could break down what kind of salary ranges software interns should be expected to be paid and what kind of ranges software engineers fresh out of college should be paid. I wouldn't want to go into an interview with misleading expectations, have them ask me what kind of salary I'm comfortable with and end up way overshooting or undershooting. After I've been in the industry for a while, I'm sure this would clear up, but it seems a bit hard uh, to job with no actual industry experience. Maybe you could also cover a few good things to know that could actually make students more of an asset to company and more excited to start uh, them off at higher salaries. Thanks. So I'm actually not going to answer the second question in this one because a lot of my videos talk about that. So I think you could probably, I've got a lot of videos in college. You might want to check those out. Uh, the, the, and like are starting out as a software developer. Those will probably answer that question, but I don't think I've really talked too much about salary ranges. I think I've done a few videos, I can't think of them now, but talking about particular salaries. But so I'm gonna try and cover this topic, although there's some caveats here. The first caveat is this. I'm gonna tell you what I think perhaps salary ranges might or should be for developers in the United States of America that are not in cities like San Francisco or New York right <laughs> that are in just like general just a very generalized and you'll have to adjust it for for kind of california and new york and financial industry maybe some chicago type of salaries if you're if you're in the financial industry if you're a quant if you're involved in that it's gonna be totally different if you're in facebook's and startups and silicon valley it's gonna be totally different so then the second caveat is this what i'm telling you is bullshit because you shouldn't really listen to this this is just like a very very basic guideline i don't know what i'm talking about because it, it there are so many outliers and you and part of like if you're watching these videos if you're going to simple programmer if you've bought how to market yourself as a software developer especially if you've bought that course then you know that the whole point is to be an outlier is to to not be not not be the traditional developer that's stuck at the traditional rate salary range but i'm going to kind of break down what is a traditional one and then maybe i'll if i still have some time talk a little bit about breaking out of that and why that that's actually bullshit so let's talk about interns first so what should an intern be paid hmm that's a good question uh it could be zero right that's that's valid for an internship i think especially when you're getting a good opportunity I, if I were just starting out, I know it's tough to break into the industry, especially if it's a good company. As an intern, I would be willing to accept zero, honestly. I don't, I don't think there's any problem with not getting paid when you're learning a skill and getting an in. If, you know, for example, I, I was just having this conversation with a friend of mine and, he, and we were like, yeah, if a billionaire was like, dude, you can, I'm gonna teach you everything I know, I'd be like, oh, you don't have to pay me anything and I'm gonna set up a tent in your yard, right? <laughs> and I would do your dishes, right? Like it's valuable experience is, is worth something. So there, there's, that could be zero. But in general, I would expect a, a range, again, United States, you know, caveats apply between, somewhere between 40 to 60,000 for, for an internship for most companies. I think that if you're getting paid less than that, then you probably shouldn't be getting paid anything at all. Or otherwise you're getting taken advantage of which sounds kind of weird, but if you think about it, it makes sense. Okay, now let's talk about like a junior, like beginning dev position, which I've I've talked about, gosh, I don't even remember the video. I've done so many videos now, but I, there's maybe Rodrigo remembers the video. If not, nothing will appear here except my finger, but I did, I did some video talking about how you should not enter as an entry level software developer. Don't even do that. Just like go straight to regular dev or senior dev. That junior is sort of, a way to get ripped off. But if you do get into a junior position, I would say that you're probably starting at 
a minimum of around 60,000. I know that there's some that are 50, but I'd be aiming for 60. I think that's a pretty reasonable salary expectation in most of the US. Again, big caveat here, the prices vary, you know, but I'm, I'm giving sort of a general. So I would say maybe like the 60 to 80 range, whereas when you get up to the 80 range, that's probably more of a like a mid-level dev or possibly like a low level and a senior dev, right, position. And then from there, you know, I think 80 to 100 is probably like mid-level developer sort of sort of getting into the senior probably some seniors are in there and then like above you know when you're in the six figure and you're not in silicon valley and you're not in new york city you probably know your shit you probably are have you know five to ten years experience or you're really good you have a really good specialty and you've got at least some amount of notoriety some people know who you are you've you've spoken out some of it you've got some kind of credibility that's going to back the fact that you're making more than 100k and that could go up to you know 100 to 120k now it gets starts to get interesting from there because there's definitely developers that make a lot more than 120k and a lot uh, not all of them are in silicon valley or new york city if you're really good and you have a really good specialty right and I'm, we're talking salaries here you can definitely book something from the 120 to 200 range. I think that is, especially if you're in a senior position where you're gonna be overseeing a lot of other developers, or you're gonna be a technical lead or architect, that is, is highly possible without that. Now, Silicon Valley, New York City, we could be going way, way above that range. And if you're doing some of the things that I'm talking about, again, I'm gonna plug my course because this is relevant in this case, how to market yourself as a software developer. If you've got your blog, right? If you're talking at events, if you've written a book, if you've you know, done some of these things, if you have a podcast that's popular, you've been on a lot of podcasts, your name is somewhat known. Now you're looking at, like I would not be accepting any jobs if you've got that level of, or, you know, a decent level of notoriety under 180K. I'd be like, 180k I'll be shooting for 200 maybe 250 because people will pay that for that this is now you're shooting for Microsoft's and Google's and Apple's and they're gonna pay for your name and they're gonna pay you those ranges you know you could definitely get those ranges that and that's why guys that's why when you're like you look at the course and you're like oh three hundred dollars for John's how to market yourself a software developer course it's because look I get emails from people every day that are like I got this job making you know double six figures you know, over two hundred thousand dollars a year or I raised my hourly rate to you know 150 200 300 dollars an hour right it's because that's what you can do and that and I was just talking salaries here if we're talking hourly rates and freelancing it, it goes way higher than that and, and you know if you're talking director and VP level positions which a lot of developers or high-level architects there's architecture tracks at a lot of companies you can go up to there so that's sort of that's my best estimates you know you can disagree they're gonna vary from region to region they're gonna vary from city to city obviously but those are the kind of things that I'd be shooting for you know from what I know about salaries today uh, go to resources though and search them like Glassdoor you know figure out do, do a little bit more background research to figure out what ranges are if you're gonna mess up mess up on the high side don't ever mess up on the low side so shoot higher than what you think that it might be right that, that it just makes sense to me I mean if you shoot too high you can always like you can always come down and 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 and, uh, and, and 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 like say that you made a mistake or you can you can come up with some kind of excuse but I would you know, most, most people aim too low and hit. There, there's, there's less people that aim too high and miss. So, so don't do that. There's a story of, uh, I think it's in 48 Laws of, Laws of Power. Let's, let's link to that book, even though a lot of people don't like that book, 48 Laws of Power by... Uh, so, so anyway, I think there's a story, and he talks about Christopher Columbus, and Christopher Columbus, you know, he basically... Whoops, I guess I screwed that up. <laughs> I uh, ran out of space on my my iPhone and stopped recording. I gotta figure out what the heck is taking up all the space on there. I only had two videos recorded. So luckily, almost all of this video was recorded. But anyway, I was saying Christopher Columbus, 40 Loves Power. Anyway, he basically asked to be called like the vice admiral of the, I can't even remember what it was, but he made a lot of big asks. He asked for the ship. He had never actually really was a captain of a ship before. He asked for like 10% of all the royalties from the new world. <laughs> he didn't get that, but he got almost everything he asked. And and this guy was, I mean, he was just super bold. So anyway, ask big. That's all I'm saying with that is ask big. 
And yeah, I forgot how I ended this last time. I think I plugged my book and my, my How to Market Yourself as a Software Developer course. I did, that, and, and I'll tell you why. Because if you want more info on this, you can check out uh, Soft Skills Software Developer's Life Manual. Obviously, I've got you know some, some chapters in there on marketing yourself. And, and the course, uh, How to Market Yourself as a Software Developer, which obviously is gonna, gonna help you to be able to, because if you're watching these videos, you know, you definitely want to be aiming for the six-figure range, right? You should be if you're if you're if you've taken those courses, right? If if you're if you've basically if you're mar marketing yourself, if you're building a blog, if you're doing all this stuff that I'm telling you to market yourself, to build a name for yourself and specialty, you should be aiming for the six-figure range. You want to be one of those outlier developers, not not a not the average developer. Now. If you're not doing anything, that's not just gonna magically happen, but if you're following the advice that I'm giving you, you should be able to qualify for that. That should be the minimum that, that you're qualifying for. And it'll take some time, you'll have to do some hard work to do that. But anyway, that's why I'm telling you that, and that's why when people ask, I don't know if I already said this because I recorded re recording part of, part of this video, but anyway, that's when people, why I charge 300 bucks for the course is because Hey, <laughs> you, you should be able to get like, you should easily be able to 10X the money that you pay for that course. You should, you should honestly be able to 20X the money you pay for that course if you apply what you learn from there. Anyway, I was also gonna say, if you, uh, you know, if you have a success story, if you've like doubled or tripled your income or whatever it is, uh, email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com. If you'd like to be interviewed, you know, I can, I can make that happen. And then also, if you uh, if, if you know someone that could benefit from this advice, uh, the salary range is definitely share the video. And if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Also, if you if you email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com and and let me know any success stories that you have, you know, I would I would be happy to uh, to 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 get those. Those are always nice. Uh, you know, get a get a couple every week or so. But, uh, but the, the, the bigger the success, the better. I don't have to use your name or your picture, but I, I definitely would like to share that success. And uh, if you like these videos, if you'd like to see more, uh, definitely subscribe to the channel, and I will talk to you next time. Take care.